Hi YouTube, I thought I'd do another video of my um, female blood python eating. Um, this time I'll try and get a lot closer into her head so you can um, see a bit more detail. Um, so yeah, these are python brongas my, they're called red blood pythons. This is my female who is a, a normal um, colour phase. Uh, my male is a matrix morph. Um, which just means he's got a slightly different patterning to him. He's a bit more, a lot of the markings are a bit more angular and they're a bit more speckled and his belly is a lot sort of greyer than hers is. Um, but you can see her starting on this rat here. So uh, I didn't manage to get a video of her striking to eat it. I just um, started the video at the point where she's just got the rat in her mouth. Um, so you can see what she's doing here. She's kind of crawling with her head. Um, and what I'll do later on, I'll show you some kind of, um, I'll freeze it at various points and just explain more about the way her kind of head and jaw works. But um, I'll, just, I'll just tell you at this point that you can see, can't you, like the head sort of goes side to side and she's gradually kind of moving to swallow this rat. So the jaw is in, the bottom jaw is in two halves. Okay, and that just allows her to kind of stretch, um, say the left hand side of her bottom jaw forward a bit, uh, while leaving the other, the right hand side behind. And then she'll do the opposite and stretch the right hand side forward and leave the left hand side behind. And that just allows her to, to move. And her upper jaw is just, pretty flexible as well you can see like it's quite stretchy when she moves it along um, the other things I'll be able to show you later are um, oh I'll fast forward it at this point so this is I think it's about eight times normal speed or something uh, so you could just uh, see it go down a bit quicker otherwise the video would have been really long it does take them a long time to eat um, even an animal of this size so this is a, a jumbo rat so basically as big as rats can get really um, and she'll take this no problem without even having to kind of stretch her jaw that much at all really um, she could eat something like a, a rabbit like a full-size rabbit uh, and then she would be having to stretch her jaw quite a bit more but um, yeah you can see this is although it takes her quite a long time to do it it's um, it's not a complete struggle for her or anything Although in the wild, I suppose snakes are at their most vulnerable while they're eating. Okay, this is back to normal speed now. Um, yeah, because especially animals that, you know, like anacondas or, you know, really big snakes that are taking massive meals quite often, like they'll eat a small deer or something. And you can imagine when it's trying to stretch its mouth right over that deer, it can't really do much else at the time. So it puts it in a, a very vulnerable position. Um, so I guess that's why probably quite a lot of snakes end up going out hunting at night, feeding at night, just so they're less vulnerable uh, to predators, because a lot of the other predators would be sleeping. Okay, so she's almost, uh, almost there. Quite often she'll take these rats, um, you know, I'll be trying to feed her the head first, and she'll grab it by the back end or she'll grab it in the middle and then that can be really awkward and takes her a long time to try and get it down though if she's swallowing it backwards because you can see those um the hips and the legs of the rat you can see how much they stick out so if you're eating it from the other direction yeah it take, can take them quite a long time because obviously they don't have hands <laughs> or arms to push the rat into their mouth so sometimes they will, you know, grab it and try and try and you know use the side of the cage or something to help them um, push the rat down into their mouth. Um, right, we're coming up to um, some of the close-up bits in a minute, I think. Okay, this is one of them. So can you see the top jaw there? If you look, there are two rows of teeth. Um, so you can just make out there's like in in the pink strips. You can just make out little ridges. So the teeth, while she's eating, they actually kind of go back into these kind of fleshy sheaths. But you can make out there like two sets, or two main sets of teeth on the upper jaw. Okay, so that makes it a lot more grippy if she's grabbing hold of something. 
it's going to make it a lot harder for that um, prey item to escape if it was alive. This is, incidentally, this is a defrosted rat. You know, I buy all my rats frozen and defrost them. Um, so, yeah, I haven't had to um, kill this rat or anything. I've only had to defrost it. Um, okay, so she's carrying on eating. Again, like, look at those ridges. In a second, I'll show you, um, I'll show you another uh, still image uh, from the video where I can explain something else. But look, it's almost in the mouth now. So yeah, I, I managed to breed these blood pythons uh, last year and uh, the babies are growing pretty quickly. Okay, here you go. So look, do you see how she's lifting up her whole neck? So this is a bit like, you know, when a bird um, tries to swallow something. It will tilt its head right back and it does this kind of as much motion as possible basically to try and get the thing to to uh, actually go down the throat just using gravity right here you can see how um, twisted the jaw is there the, the lower jaw can you see so the two sections of the lower jaw here have separated um, they're, they're just joined together by a sort of an elastic um, you know bit in the middle basically that stretches so one half has gone right up and you can see it compared to the other side which is right down and that is what I was talking about how they do that kind of side to side movement when they're swallowing something there you go you see she just flipped it slightly to the other side then yeah there you go so now the other side is up and this side closest to us is down and it, it just really helps her to swallow a prey item okay here's another still so this one shows, can you see the, the tube where you think of the tongue being? So that big long forked tongue goes down into that hole that you can see um, you know, right in the foreground there. And that just protects the tongue while she's eating, gets it right out of the way. And that tube is also her trachea, like her windpipe. So she breathes through this hole as well. So that can make it very useful, like if, if she's um, trying to swallow an animal that is bleeding, um, it means she doesn't you know, drown in blood, because she can still breathe through that little tube at the front. Um, so yeah, very handy kind of um, adaptation. Right, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I just, like I said, just wanted to get a closer up video of her feeding. Um, yeah, make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more kind of exotic pet videos in the future um, or any kind of breeding videos. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.